What's up dudes, Max here. So this is one of the biggest and most important weekends for fighting games of the entire year. Evolution 2018 is going to be absolutely crazy. And for one, it's one of the craziest because for the first time in a very long time, a Street Fighter game doesn't have the most entrance and that's actually going to Dragon Ball Fighters. But while the tournament itself is the main spectacle, EVO is a host to a huge amount of brand new trailers, announcements, and updates to games that we've been playing, if not are going to be potentially playing in the next few months. And that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. There are several fighting games that could potentially get huge announcements at EVO or updates, and I wanted to kind of give my impressions on which ones those could be, which ones we have a really good likelihood of it being, and the ones that have very slim of a chance, even though I would love for it to, Let's quickly go over a few games that I think will get updates at EVO, if not a trailer. Now, there's a couple of games in here that I think are guaranteed to get a big announcement showing up at EVO. Number one, Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V is well into its third season right now, and it's going to have a few characters coming up over the next couple of months that are some of the most fan requested of any in the Street Fighter V game right now. Sagat is there waiting somewhere to be revealed, and EVO is the perfect opportunity to do so. Not only the fact is he a huge welcome character amongst the fighting game community, Sagat has been a character that has been requested for so damn long in Street Fighter V, people waiting for him in Season 2, and eventually he has made it into Season 3, and we're finally going to see some gameplay on him. This isn't confirmation by any means, I don't have the direct facts or have information from the developers on any of these, but I'm going to give a solid 100% that we're going to be getting a Sagat trailer for Street Fighter V, and not exactly G. I think G's gonna be saved for a little bit later. I think the world stage of Evo and having that many eyes on a character that is that requested and that beloved will be a pretty big thing. But the other thing is that rumors of a season four and characters that could be free have also been roaming around. I think that's a very low probability, so I'm not even putting it on here. But Sagat being at Evo, very high chance. Next up is a game that came out not even that long ago, Fighting EX Layer recently got an update that it'll have two other characters that'll be added to the game from free, with Pulumperna as well as Volcano Rosso. These characters have already been seen in some brief trailer form, but the actual huge gameplay reveal trailer hasn't specifically happened yet, and the guys at Arika have already been sort of demoing the fact that they are working on something like a trailer, if not having those characters ready very soon. This is almost a guarantee as well. Last year they debuted Skullamania to the entire audience and people lost their friggin' minds. So I think that this opportunity is big for them to show off the game, that it's a new game and it's a smaller project, that more people can get interested in it, download it, check it out. So I'm giving Fighting EX Layer a 100% chance that it's gonna be there because we've already seen a lot and Volcano Rosso and Pulumberna, we just, we're gonna get some gameplay and it's probably gonna be here. Next up, I thought this game was guaranteed to get something at EVO in terms of a trailer, but it actually already happened. Dead or Alive 6 just updated us with its latest characters, specifically Rig is coming back, as well as the brand new dude, Diego, and it looks really good. I wish they showed off another stage, but at the same time, there is a presence of DOA 6 at EVO. There seems to be a mini tournament or exhibition of some kind. So that's good. It also means that there's a slim chance they'll have more stuff to show. They're waiting for more new stuff to show off because they're waiting for EVO. I wouldn't be surprised, but also showing off a brand new trailer this close to EVO is a little concerning. So while this was a near 100% before, I'm gonna drop this to around 50% that we're gonna get something new for DOA 6 at the show. The other game that I think has a very good chance of appearing at the show with brand new characters and an update is Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. This game is kind of taking competitive anime fighting games by storm right now. People love the mechanics, and from what I played of it, it has some of the best and most fun tag mechanics in a 2v2 fighting game out there, which was really refreshing and got me to play a lot more of the game than I thought I would. So I think this opportunity is gonna be big for them because they did debut the game first at EVO last year, so them getting a trailer with a couple of new characters that have been maybe somewhat leaked in the past is probably a near guarantee, maybe. Either way, I give Blaze Blue Cross Tech a good 90% chance that we're going to get a trailer for new characters at the show floor. Soul Calibur 6 is another game with a near guarantee showing up at EVO 2018. This game is still awaiting characters that people have been waiting for in the past, and I think that this is a good opportunity to show more of them, especially some more fan-favorite characters. We just got Talon, which is possibly the biggest fan-favorite character, but I really, really feel that this is a good chance for them to either show off Astaroth or Cervantes, if not, maybe something crazy like a new character. But with that being said, I think Soul Calibur's trailer opportunity is about like near 100%. I'm gonna say 90% because we didn't get a trailer that long ago for a new character. I would like to think that it's most likely going to be Cervantes because he will probably demo in video very well. 
but I would love to be surprised by something that I am not ready for and will just get mind blown. And that really hasn't happened with Soul Calibur yet outside of characters like Geralt. And that was like a little surprising. I want to get I want to get my mind blown by a big announcement for Soul Calibur. And I hope Evo is the opportunity for Bandai Namco to do that. But either way, I think we got a good 90 percent chance of an SC6 announcement. Next up are a couple of games that I was assuming was going to have a big presence in terms of trailers and announcements, but Based on some of the things I've heard and some of the stuff that I've seen the developers directly say, I don't know if it's going to happen. The first one's Tekken 7. There's been a huge rumor over the past few months that Tekken 7 Season 2 is in the works, that the developers are actively working on it, and the characters are going to be debuted soon, so we're finally going to get Lei and maybe all these other fighters, but... I don't think that's happening. I did go to a panel recently at Comic-Con that featured Harada as well as the Soul Calibur 6 developers, and Harada specifically started his conversation that he's heard a lot of people talking about a season two leak for Tekken, and he wants to address it right now, and he pretty much said it's not happening. He also went on to mention that if it did happen, which characters would you like to see? And then he put a slide that had all the characters from Tekken Tag 2 that were not in Tekken 7, and the fan audience kind of got to vote and scream and cheer at whichever characters he wanted, and lo and behold, Ganryu did not really make it. With that demonstration, it kind of felt like he was specifically answering the question that a lot of people were going to have. Is there going to be a season two? Are there going to be more characters? And he didn't have an answer to any of it. Specifically was saying that he wanted to get feedback regarding it. And in my eyes, that might be a confirmation. He could absolutely be trolling, but I, I would like to think that they're not going to directly lie to our face about some stuff. I would like to say that there might be an update for Tekken 7, but a season two, if not character announcement, that's a pretty low probability at this point, based on what I heard at Comic-Con. So, with that being said, I'm gonna give Tekken 7 and a possible Season 2 update, at least right now, maybe 25% chance of it being at EVO. The other game with a fairly low probability of getting an announcement is Dragon Ball Fighters. Simply put, we just got a character trailer for a couple of brand new characters with base Goku and base Vegeta, and them showing up at EVO is a low likelihood. They haven't announced any demo units regarding these characters. They haven't announced anything else besides the fact that they exist. And I think between the time of trailers showing up, between characters being released, is about a month. So we're still going to be a little bit of time out from these characters dropping, if not maybe somewhat towards the middle of August, towards the end of August. We do know that the latest update, the Balance Batch update, is the middle of August, but showing off two more characters, potentially Android 17 and Cooler, as the leak lists have, well, somewhat been proven completely to be true, I think is a very low likelihood. I think there might be something, but even that is a low probability because they already took the time to show off these characters before, so I think that opportunity might kind of be gone now. We already know Dragon Ball Fighters is going to have a huge, a huge tournament, probably one of the biggest ones at the show ever, because it's actually beating Street Fighter V, and a lot of people are really looking forward to this game being played on a world level with world-class competitors all coming together at the same spot with the most entrants. That's a big thing. I would love to think that there would be something announced there, but it's just not lining up with their marketing efforts that they've been doing over the past few months. So I think we're going to be seeing Android 17, we're going to be seeing Cooler a little bit later, maybe sometime around September or October, and then we're going to finally close out the first season of Dragon Ball Fighters this year. But I don't think EVO is that opportunity, so I'm going to put this one at about 25%. Now these last three games that I have on here are dream games. These are games that we've been waiting for announcements for, or we've heard things about, or have been rumored, or leaked, or fake leaked for so long now. The first one is Mortal Kombat 11. Injustice 2 has a big presence at EVO this year, with its tournament finals being on Saturday, and it's an official EVO game. And this could be a good opportunity to show off Mortal Kombat, the next version. But I don't think it's going to happen. We did make a previous video talking about this. I think the stage of EVO might be a good opportunity. But I did say that PlayStation Experience might be an even bigger opportunity to show this game off especially considering the fact that, that that event usually gets some pretty crazy numbers, even bigger than EVO. But the even weirder thing is that they haven't announced the PlayStation experience yet. There hasn't been an official date from what I understand. You can't buy tickets, so I don't know exactly what's going on there. PSX last year was a little weird. So this could be one of the last times that NetherRealm and Warner Brothers could show off Mortal Kombat to a huge audience if it is happening. And we got Gamescom coming up fairly soon, which is at about August 20th or 21st. Evo might be a good opportunity for this, but still, I feel it's a low probability. I would love to see it, but man, this one is like 15%. I can't wait to see MK11, but I don't think it's happening this weekend. The next one's even lower on the percentage, and it goes to a brand new Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear XR Rev 2 is going to be at Evo again. It's a main game, and it's actually on Sunday. 
This could be a huge opportunity for Daisuke and Team Red to show off their brand new version of Guilty Gear, which Daisuke has been talking about for a little bit of time, specifically mentioning that they want to make it more accessible, tone down on mechanics, and maybe, just maybe, this might be their opportunity to do so. Either way, Arc System Works tends to make games incredibly fast nowadays between Dragon Ball, Blaze Blue Cross Tag, and the latest versions of Guilty Gear. These guys are workhorses, so I wouldn't be surprised if they've been cooking up a brand new Guilty Gear in the background, and this Evo could be a huge opportunity for them to do so, but that's really low still. I would love to see what the new Guilty Gear would look like. I would love to see how it plays, if not a little snippet, kind of how we got of Guilty Gear back in 2013. Even something small would be really damn cool, but still a very low probability. There hasn't been any rumors, any leaks, any announcements of any kind other than Daisuke just talking about it in passive interviews. So this one's about a 10%, but damn, can I not wait. And last but not least, a rumored Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. No, it's not happening. I wish it was happening. It would be my number one thing to be announced, and I think I want nothing more. But I'm glad with playing the game as it is right now because I still love playing it, I'm learning more characters, and the times I do get to play it, I realize how damn good it is, despite its roster and graphics. That's a weird thing to say, and a lot of people have a tough time accepting it, but I'm sticking by it. I love that game, but man, it's not happening, okay? We play dead games, that's the way it works. That's about it for Evo and the potential announcements and the ones I'm excited for and the ones that could potentially be shown. Let me know what you guys think that could be shown at Evo this year. I think Smash might also be a probability, but based on the things I've heard, I think we're just gonna get that demonstration and that's about it, so I'm not even really putting it on this list. But at the same time, I think there's a lot more stuff that is gonna be announced at this year because we got the Game Awards at the end of the year, we got PlayStation Experience potentially if it does get announced, and we got Gamescom, so... A lot more fighting game announcements to come, as well as the release of Soul Calibur 6. That's what I'm looking forward to probably the most at the moment next to Smash Brothers right after. Either way, I'm gonna go to Evo. I'll do my best to get reaction videos if I'm in the audience of the crowd and everything if something does happen. But let's hope some of this stuff does take place because I can't wait to just be a part of the energy in the crowd when it does. Because man, fighting game announcements, especially if they're not leaked and if people are looking forward to them, are some of the coolest stuff and let's hope it comes true. As always, dudes, thank you a ton for watching. My name is Max, and I'll see you guys at Evo.